This lecture will focus on audience analysis and topic selection, and it will explain why all of this is important. First, why is it important that you know your audience? Does it really matter if you have a good idea of the group of people that you'll be speaking to? And why is that important? Audience analysis involves several things. First of which, it's the process of gathering and analyzing information about the group of people or your audience and their attributes, motivations, what makes them tick. This is extremely important that you know who you will be talking to so that when you make your presentation, you don't lose your audience. There's different types of approaches that you can take, one of which is the audience-centered approach. You have to consider the audience throughout your entire speech preparation. So before you even get behind the lectern or before you even get ready to make your presentation, you need to think about the group of people that you will be speaking to during your presentation. Who are your listeners? You have to take into consideration who these people are, what is important to them, okay? This helps you to learn more about them. The audience also will evaluate your message from their own perspective. So you wanna make sure that the message that you're trying to send is the one that they will receive. The attitudes are extremely important. Audience attitudes evaluate people's ideas, objects, events, and how people act regarding all of them. You have to analyze their beliefs. There's a lot of different things that people believe. It's your job as a presenter to analyze what you think your audience may believe. Secondly, the values go deeper than just beliefs. It's what they think is good and bad, how they judge certain things, certain behaviors. It shapes their attitudes and it also affects what they believe. So keep in mind that the values are much deeper than the attitudes and beliefs that people may have. Demographics are extremely important. You have to analyze the person's age, or their identity. Even though they may be of the same culture, if they're different generations, they do think differently from one another. So it's very important that you give a presentation that's targeted for the right age group of which you will be speaking to. You also have to consider their ethnic and cultural makeup. It's important that we're extremely sensitive when we're making speeches. So keep in mind that people may speak a different language or belong to a different culture or even a co-culture. Socioeconomics also impacts how people will react to certain speeches and presentations. Their status is affected by their income. The higher a person's income, the higher the quality of life that they will have because they're able to afford more luxuries than if they had less money. The occupation also reflects a person's interest. Just as you're in college, each of you has different majors and you will go on to do different things in your life. So consider the occupation of the individuals with whom you'll be talking to. The level of a person's education also impacts a person's ideas and beliefs as well. Religion and politics. There's many different religious traditions found within the United States. And even within those religions, there's different views. So just because a person may be Catholic, doesn't mean that that person agrees with everything 
within Catholicism. Political affiliation. Be careful and don't make unwarranted assumptions about an individual just because they may align themselves with a particular political group. Also, many people are very sensitive about politics and religion as well. You also need to consider gender. Basically, that encompasses the social, psychological sense of what makes a person a male or a female. But there's certain things that you need to be careful of. You need to avoid making assumptions based on a person's gender. Don't just assume because they are a male or a female that they feel a certain way. Because if you make generalized assumptions, you will lose your audience and they will no longer become receptive to your message. So that's something that you'll want to take into consideration when you are preparing your presentation. So be culturally sensitive, be sensitive as far as religion, politics, and gender as well. Next, we'll talk about crafting effective purpose and thesis statements. First of all, what is the purpose of your speech? A general speech answers the question, what is my objective? What do I want the audience to take away from my presentation? There's generally three general purposes for a speech, one of which is to inform or to educate a group of people about a particular su subject. Another is to persuade, and this is something that po uh, politicians are masters at. They will say whatever they think the audience wants to hear in order for that audience to vote for them. You can guarantee that they have done specific audience analysis before they give their presentation. The third one is to mark a special occasion, such as a graduation or a wedding or even a funeral. It's imperative that you form a specific speech purpose because it lays out exactly what you want the audience to walk away with from your presentation. You want them to remember your presentation because of what? Is it something you want them to learn? Is it an action item, something you want them to do? You want to persuade them, have them agree with you? Whatever it is, you need to make sure that you know what that purpose is and make sure that that purpose comes across to your audience as well. In order to do this, you have to have a thesis statement. That's the general idea for your presentation. And it is the theme of your speech. You can state it in one sentence or a couple of sentences, but it must be clear to your audience and it must express what you're trying to demonstrate your entire speech will rest on your thesis statement. So if it's a persuasive speech, you're going to make your thesis statement and you're going to have your supporting comments for why you feel a certain way. So the thesis statement is extremely important for you to convey the message that you wanna get across to your audience. 